Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing the octopus. This octopus in particular, um, bro, they, the straw hats just like destroyed this octopus. And it's funny cause we can see like their power right like we see what their specialties are like one sanji sanji is speed right he was able to run as fast as a fishman underwater well that statement was from usopp and i'm pretty sure usopp would know considering he was there when they fought the fishman so that's one his speed and then his new kick. He, ha he can set his foot ablaze underwater. But the damage that it did, you know, it fried like the octopus's leg, like the spot that he kicked. But then we see Zoro. Zoro cut off a complete limb, like a whole arm of the octopus into, I think, six, six strips. And then the captain third gear which at the point we would have thought would have been Luffy's strongest punch realistically um, because he held off on using that for however many episodes I mean not held off from using that but he held off something else uh, and only used like his gear second and gear third but um, that would have been his, his strongest punch and he like completely knocked the whole like he knocked it out cold with one punch and like it, it sh basically showed us like after the time skip the fact that luffy was able to one shot a pacifista by himself and we saw before the time skip that none of the um none of the sorry none of the um uh supernovas was able to do it right like none of them were able to beat their uh, corresponding pacifista and then for Luffy to just come back after uh, uh, training for two years and one shot one of them, right? And then uh, it also showed us that Zoro and Luffy, I mean, Zoro and Sanji had to double team one of them, uh, double team a pacifista. Do I think that they would have been able to do it solo? Yes, I think Zoro might have been able to do it solo. But do I think that Sanji's fire kick does enough damage to one shot a pacifista i mean naturally i would i would have to say yes because you know like the parallel of those two being the second strongest to luffy um you would have to say that he'd be able to but you know like i don't know it's it's tough it's tough but i know one thing like this showed us their power like like it was like a grand scale it was like it was like low level medium level and high level right like in the order of the strongest like they're all stronger than everybody on their on the ship all of them they can beat like if luffy were to take everybody on uh in a one-on-one -on -one fight each at a time he'd be able to beat all the crew members and then uh zoro the only person he wouldn't be able to beat is luffy then Sanji, it might, like, the only person he wouldn't be able to beat would be Luffy and maybe Zoro. Like, there can be an actual fight between those two. But everybody else on the crew is not touching those three in a fight. Robin can be an exception. Because she can, like, put her hands behind you and then, like, crack your neck or whatever, you know, she does. But that trick doesn't work on Luffy. Like, if Luffy gets his neck broken, he's rubber, so his neck will literally just stretch. So she physically can't beat him at all. And nobody else on the crew can. But, um, let's get into this. Enough rambling. <laughs>
finished with uh, this picture of the octopus. Mr. Uh, I can get one shotted. I really like the I really like the octopus. Um, I don't like that it tried to mess with our crew. You know what I'm saying? But the crew can handle themselves. But um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section just to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.